Before I get into this commentary, I have to give a huge shout out to Professor Black Truth because had I not watched his moment of truth that he did on Friday, April 29th, I would have not known what was going on with Terry Crews for me to even do this video. So a huge shout out to the professor. So, you know, whenever it comes to a triple P and it involves someone apologizing about something and I can, if I can find a picture of them crying, whether it's maybe a still from a show or they're legit crying about something that maybe affected or impacted them, I make sure to use it and I really feel no type of way about it. So here we are. So you're probably wondering, in case you don't watch The Professor, I don't know why you aren't, but if you don't, for the small percentage of you that don't, Terry Crews has basically come out and said that, you know, his Black Lives Matter tweets were a mistake and that he wants to apologize. Now, I left a comment on Professor Black Truth's channel basically saying I don't know why Terry Crews is choosing now to apologize because most black people don't rock with BLM like that. A good chunk of us don't for a multitude of reasons. And we see what has come out about them in the last year or so. So I think he's a little too late, uh, too little, too late or way too little and way too late on his half baked apology. And I think it's because he's realizing all his antics did not work in his favor. And he pulled a lot of antics. And see, here's the thing. Terry Crews had his own little me too hiccup thing, not with him doing anything, but someone doing something to him. And if he was on code, more black people would have supported him. But he thought that he would get more support from the same people whose ass he's been kissing for a long time, especially for the good duration of his career. Not realizing it was black people that really put him on. But it is what it is. So I'm going to go ahead now and uh, about to say record. I am recording. I'm going to read this article that's coming from Yahoo Entertainment. Terry Crews joined The Daily Show with Trevor Noah on Wednesday and apologized for the controversial tweets he posted in the summer of 2020, which some saw as disparaging to the Black Lives Matter movement as nationwide protests raged following the murder of George Floyd. Crews, or as I call him, Loose Screws Crews, received widespread backlash, but to his credit, has not taken the tweets down. Now, how are you going to sit up there and apologize about what you said, but you still left the tweets up? That apology couldn't be that strong. Now I'm going to read uh, the tweets that he left. One said, defeating white supremacy without white people creates black supremacy. Equality is the truth, like it or not. We are all in this together. Another tweet he wrote, if you are a child of God, you are my brother and sister. I have family of every race, creed and ideology. We must ensure hashtag Black Lives Matter doesn't morph into hashtag Black Lives Better. I'm going to let you know, I really don't want to do want to apologize to anybody who was offended by these tweets and was hurt deeply, Cruz said, because as an example, as an African-American man, a black man here in this country, I did not want to give the perception that we're supposed to gloss this over and forgive the death of George Floyd, the murder of George Floyd. And I want to apologize to everyone right now who has who was ever offended because it hurt. Here's the thing. We know why he wrote those tweets. He wrote those tweets because he felt that he would be in the good graces of white people because he felt like that if he tweeted that white people would applaud him. He was literally trying to do the whole grift game like the Coonstress and Brandon Fakem and all them over there doing. But see, the thing is, they they pretty much have been doing this for quite some time, Terry, and we know why you're not doing this. I think Terry Crews is probably doing this because he did he felt he didn't have the support of black people when he bought his situation with that incident with that PC man grabbing his junk come to the forefront. But the thing is, you would have had black people support, but you quickly threw us under the bus before we were allowed to even give you support. And you kept looking and seeking support elsewhere. So it's like if you were going to be on off code with us, we were going to be off code with you. That's how it is. Whatever energy you give, we will give it back and sometimes 10 times more. At the time, Cruz defended his tweets. He said, any black person who calls me a coon or Uncle Tom for promoting equality is a black supremacist because they have determined who's black and who is not. He also went on to say, please know that everything I've said comes from a spirit of love and reconciliation for the black community first, then the world as a whole and hopes to see a, b a better future for black people. What the hell was that? These are his tweets, y'all. Those are his tweets. But now, Cruz admits the timing of his tweets was a mistake. Gee, you think? I just wanted peace. 
and I guess it goes back to my approval. It goes back to my need for approval. It went back to that crew set. See, he just admitted to you right there that he was seeking approval from a certain group of people. He admitted it right there in his, those are his own words. He was seeking approval. And again, it was a mistake. It was a mistake to tweet that out at the time. And Cruz said out loud the message his tweets were meant to convey. The need is for us as a people to actually come together and really, really be what we need to be to this country. Because it's our country. This is our country, Cruz said. We died and fought, and I'm not giving it away. This is our inheritance. Okay. Terry Cruz, sir, you're done. Black people have pretty much have been done away with you for quite some time now. Even before all this stuff came out, even down to some of the roles that you've taken. Like here you are, this, you have Terry Crews, this big, swole, muscular guy, and his who has the personality of a of a damn pea. You know, like the peas you eat. That's like literally or a mustard seed. The only role that black people really rock with Terry Crews in like that was the dad on Everybody Hates Chris. And I think everybody who watched that show would say that that's like the best role that we've seen Terry Crews be in because we actually felt for his character, even though that was a comedic show. Like here's a guy who's, you know, working class father, you know, married with three kids trying to make it. And, you know, we, a lot of people could could see themselves in that character because it's like you know even though he was a penny a penny pincher of like the highest kind many black people could see themselves especially a lot of black men could feel themselves or see themselves in that character because especially at that time in in those conditions and he was still providing for his family the best way he knew how and we wish that terry cruz would have took more roles like that but you know hopefully not to become typecast but he ended up doing the roles that we did not like seeing him in and that's whose butt he loved to kiss so much and then when all the things with the me too thing came about and that kind of shocked us he was like oh wow now we kind of feel bad for terry cruz because we understand as a man he probably felt like what was i going to do about that although many men probably would have knocked that that, that guy's wig back for not only doing that but also in front of your wife that's what made us really puzzled is like how did you let this grown man grab your your stuff in front of your wife and you not do anything to him now here this is, is a white guy and we probably know why you did this because i think that white guy was some kind of exec and he was afraid if he did something that he would lose out on something but you want to come at black people when we were going to have your back. We were going to give you support. And you want to come at us sideways? Okay, fine. It is what it is. And at that point, we were done with him. Then he doubled down with these tweets right after what happened with George Floyd. And you're right. It was bad timing and it was in poor taste. And now, here we are two almost two years later since what happened with George Floyd. And since you put those tweets up. And now you want to apologize. And then you, to an organization that is as fraudulent as a $3 bill in a Monopoly board game set that most black people don't even rock with anymore. So you can keep your apology, Terry Crews, or Lou Screws Crews, as I like to refer to him as, because that guy doesn't have it all together in the head. Clearly, he is not right. Maybe he needs to go sit on somebody's couch. Maybe he needs to go take a trip across the pond like Will Smith is doing right now. I don't know. This guy is clearly unhinged. Like, for real. And I don't feel bad for him at all. It's too little too late for your little apology. And no, I think I speak on the, on the behalf of black America. And I'm talking about foundation of black America. I can't speak for anybody else. At large, when I say we do not accept your apology. And that's my take on it.